Hello everyone, my name is James Ryan and I'm here to teach you how to build a, um, a redstone computer in Minecraft. Um, but before I begin, let me just teach you, starting off from the last video, before I begin to teach you a bit more about other logic gates, let me just tell you what happens uh, about this logic gate called the NOR gate. It's basically an inverted, an, an inverted OR gate. That is, the output is the opposite of whatever it would be if it were an OR gate. If either of the inputs is turned on, then it will be off. And if both of them are on, it's off. The only time it's on is when both of these are off. And this is because it's basically an OR gate here, but then hooked up to uh, an inverter or a NOT gate. We call it a NOR gate because the NOR is basically spelled N-O-R. It's short for NOT OR because the output is NOT a or B. It's the opposite. It's not A or B. So if A or B would be what would be uh, a true output, then it would be false and vice versa. Uh, a bit more terminology. When the redstone is red like this, I'm going to call that active or true or perhaps even one later on. Whereas I'll call these non-active or non-active or false or zero. Okay. Make sense? Good. Go away you pig. You're an pigs just want to learn redstone. That's the truth. That's the truth. Uh, but uh they have a bit of trouble picking up the basic knowledge. But that's okay, you don't. Uh now it's I think is a good time to learn about about truth tables. So, what is a truth table? Well, let's explain. Hello everyone. Oh, hang on. Yeah. So, this is an example of a truth table I'm about to set up here. <coughs> so, uh, these, this here will represent input A. This here will represent input A. And this here will represent input B. Input A, input A, and input B can both either be on or off. I'm using red, this darker color, to represent off, and this lighter pink to represent on. Uh, this is all arbitrary coloring. I thought maybe there would be a dark and light red, but uh, the closest thing I could find to a light red. The closest thing I could find to a light red is this pink, so I used that. That's fine though. Um, <coughs> uh, so this represents the possible input A's, and this represents the possible input B's, and these represent the possible outputs. Now, if you know Mendelian genetics, then this might be familiar to you. These truth tables might be familiar to you in the form of Punnett squares. Um, they're a bit different though. Uh, because the way the phenotype, if you know genetics, uh, the phenotype is determined according to the type of gate. So, if you know what, if you don't understand what I meant by that, doesn't matter, just ignore it. It's fine. So, let's take a look at the truth table for an OR gate. Well, if A is off and B is off, then the output will be on. Okay? Makes sense? If A is on and B is, if A is off, and B is on, then the output will be on. If A is on and B is off, then the output will be on. And if A and B are both on, then the output will be on. So if either of the outputs is on, then the output will be on. Otherwise, only in the case where none of the outputs is on, will an output be off. Okay? Makes sense? Cool. Now, from here, we could do a few things. We can invert the output and here's some generalizations when it we can invert the output in which case you get the opposite of whatever you had okay so this all these ons would then become offs and this last off would become an on so this is what's known as a nor gate because it's an inverted or gate okay so the only time when A and when A when A and B are both off, then the output is on. But if either A or B is on, then the output is off. That's one thing you could do 
do to it? What's another thing you could do to it? Well, instead of inverting in the outputs, you can invert one or both of the inputs. Now, let's do a bit of a generalization. Uh, we'll get our, an orange, an orange, a magenta, a yellow, and some lime wool to demonstrate what I mean. So these could be any output you can imagine. And this is what will always happen if you were to swap inputs A and B, if these were the appropriate corresponding outputs. Obviously, if you were to invert the output, then these would become the inverts. But what if you inverted the inputs? Well, if you swap, if you invert, in, if you invert input A, then when input A is is um off, it will act as if it is on, and when input A is on, it will act as if it is off. So this happens. Eh? Do you okay? Makes sense. Cool. And so then what that means is that these blocks will swap. So these two will swap. And these these two will swap. Okay? And that's what will happen. If you then were to go ahead and swap these two, then this would end up here, this would end up here, and this would end up here, and this would end up here. Now, I don't remember what the original combination, but I do know that every block swapped horizontally and then vertically. And what does that mean? Well, if, e if, this, if every block swapped horizontally and then vertically, it's going to be exactly opposite where it's going to be. It's going to be as if the entire thing was rotated 180 degrees. Okay. These two will have swapped, and these two will have swapped. Um, so that's, in general, what happens is, when you invert both A and B, these two s bits of the truth table swap, and these two swap. If you invert only input A, then, then the inputs associated, then the outputs associated with input A, will then be reversed. So they'll do as if the opposite. So these two will swap, and these two will swap. And if you do only input B, then only these two will swap, and only these two will swap. So hopefully that made sense. Now let's see how we can utilize this to make new gates that we haven't done before. Let's go back to the old coloring scheme, and we'll go back to the old OR gate where we'll make sure that these are nice and off, these are on, and we'll see what happens. The nice old OR gate where if either of these are powered then it's on. Now what we're going to do is invert both the inputs and what that's going to do, and we're not going to actually invert these actual inputs now because now we're going to create a new logic gate where, bef where things are plugged into an OR gate, so like so, We'll represent it in real time while we're doing it. Okay, so this truth tape, we're going to have truth table here, and we'll have actual logic gate here. So we start off with an OR gate, right? Get some levers. Get a lever. Lever, lever, lever. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so we start off with a nice OR gate, right? Then what we do is we invert both the inputs. So now these inputs um, these, sorry. now these inputs are inverted so we invert both these inputs so now the new truth table for these gate for this gate is as if the inputs were inverted so these two swap nothing happens to them but these two swap so now what do we have we have a gate where the where if a and b are both off then it's on if a is on and b is off then it's on so if A is off and B is on, if if A is on and B is off, I, I forget which ones are A and B, uh, but if this one is off, if this one is on and this one is off, then it's on. The only way it's, but if both of them are on, then it's off. Let's test that. Okay. A is off and B is off. We'll call this, yeah, this is A and this is B. Yeah, yeah. So A is off and B is off. Output is on. True? Good. Uh, now, A is on and B is off. So we turn A on. Still true. Good. Next, A is off, but B is